Let's get this dry belt replaced. Hey guys, it's Rodan here. I got this uh, work screw dryer where the, uh, the the drum doesn't spin, so it's got a broken belt. So I'm going to show you how to pull this apart and make sure you can reset all the uh, the belt, put a new belt in, set the tension, and make sure you set this lining properly so that way it runs smoothly. Um, so stand back and watch the video so to open this dryer what you need to do is get yourself one of these tools right here and you wanna you, you should not use a screwdriver because it will chip the dryer but you wanna pry like right about this edge slowly see it popped and about this edge it popped get it up next to a wall or hold it um, you'll want to make sure you remove these two screws right here um, these screws are holding that dryer vent I previously opened this dryer before but I didn't have a camera so I'm trying to simulate reopening it again so once you have it open, you lift it up and you can lean it up against a wall somewhere. Now you can see the belt's busted right here. So what you have to do is get into the back here there's one screw two screw and this electrical safety for the dryer door you pop that open once you disconnect that you can remove these two screws Remove the other screw. And this door just lifts right up. Set this door aside. Like I mentioned, I previously opened up this dryer. It was full of dust all over in the bottom, everywhere else. So I took uh, my small shop vac right here and vacuum everything out from everywhere I can. Took a rag, wipe it down. So that way um, I'm able to uh, put this back up nice and clean. If your dryer is very noisy when you're running it, these uh, supporting wheels, are bad you can find them they're easy to find and replace so let's watch how I reset this uh, new belt back into place here's a new belt I order online like seven or eight bucks free shipping see this belt have two sides one side is shiny and the other side have the, the rib so you know the rib part it's it's what goes around the ridges of this motor make sure the inside is set properly
Now if you look here carefully, you'll see how I clip that uh, tension pulley back in place. It's just clipping right in. Let me take a few seconds to ask you viewers to please like, share, and subscribe. Based on the statistics, uh, most of the viewers who are watching my videos are non-subscribers. 99.9% .9 are non-subscribers. Only 0.1% are subscribers. So please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel so I can improve to my performance and the way I do my video. Now that we got the belt in place and around the drum, let's get ready to put the door back on. We've got two clips, one on the right, right there, and the left at the bottom. It's basically a hook and the door or the front panel just drops right into those two hook and you push the top forward so you can connect your two screws. So let's get this in place. Now that I got this front panel back in, I'm going to pop open the door real quick and check and make sure that the uh, drum is aligned from the front. Once that's done, I'm going to get my clip, put it back where the screw screws into and connect my two screws. Once I get my two screws connected and the safety uh, switch connected back for the dryer door, I gently wiped it down. And once that's done, I'm going to open the front and make sure the drum spins freely. Once it spins freely and everything looks aligned from the inside, I'm going to close the cover back down. Cover just snaps into place or hear it click, click, click and get my two screws back for the uh, the filter housing you can say once that two screws are in for the filter housing I'm gonna just pop my filter in I'm gonna do one final check to make sure that the, everything is aligned and the drum sprints freely. Once that's done, we'll do the test run.